unless you are a practice nurse or work closely with one, their role and value is not easily understood. So the NHS Alliance invited the people that really know to share their views at an event in Manchester. We want to showcase how practice nursing is an integrating force in community well-being. Three words. Yeah. Feisty, hardworking and supportive. I absolutely love my role as a practice nurse. I think we're a really important part of the team. We link with all the other MDT members and I think we're a really good advocate for the patient. The myths. Um, I think that we just do tasks um, and we're the handmaidens of the GPs. <laughs> uh, the myth that uh, newly qualified registrants can't move um, from qualification into primary care, particularly general practice nursing. Uh, there does seem to be a myth out there from practice managers, some general practice nursing and general practitioners, that uh, newly qualified nurses don't have the skills to move into general practice on qualification. Uh, and that's just not true. I would say that the future of health is community. Practice nurse is at the centre of that work, so it's how we are able to reach out to communities and help people alongside them with their health. And practice nurses have a really key role to play in that. So I would say to students, come and see, come look at what practice nursing does, come look at the difference it makes, and consider the option. But I know personally, when I was a, dis a, a, a student nurse, um, and I was on my uh, community placement with the district nurses, I got to spend an hour with the practice nurse. And unbeknown to me at the time, that was the hour that gave me the window and the insight into what practice nursing was really about. And it was the reason that I then went on and, and chose practice nursing as my career. I think the nice thing about it, it's a very autonomous role. You're very involved in decision making, so you can mould care the way that you feel is appropriate for the patient and rather than just under strict protocol from, from hospital-based nursing. And it's not just about general practice nursing. I'm a practice nurse that specialises more in diabetes. There are practice nurses that specialise more in uh, chronic respiratory diseases. So there's lots of avenues that you can become a little bit more specialist in. Practice nursing um, allows you to work with a whole team of different health professionals um, and all work together for the benefit of, of your patients in your area uh, from, from cradle to grave. The joy of being a general practice nurse is that you're a fundamental part of your local community and you'll see patients from when they're born with their, with their families growing up during their teenage years um, and into middle age having their own families and into old age. Obviously not in the span of a short career but you will see people at all stages of their life course and get to know them and their families and how they fit into the community. The, the workload on practice has increased uh, over the last few years since about 2004 the consultation rate has gone up from about five to eight per patient per year and that a lot of that extra work can be done by practice nurses so that having a practice nurse can see patients to make the most of the skills they have and release doctors to see patients that need their skills to deal with support your practice nurse they're there to provide the service that you can't provide because of time because of whatever and GPs are very, very aware of the role of the practice nurse and how valuable they are within their community. In terms of practice nursing, there is a very exciting career progression pathway. There is the new launch of the District Nursing and Practice Nursing Framework, which provides clear guidance about how your career can progress. And on a personal level, I have become a nurse practitioner um, and now see, assess, diagnose, treat and prescribe for all my patients. Um, I can refer into secondary care and I can complete episodes of care, including performing minor surgery. I think for me, I don't feel like I'm in a job. I feel like, you know, I'm getting paid to do something that I absolutely love. Um, and just to see, I suppose, I'd like to say the difference that I make, but actually the difference that we make as a primary health care team. I'm part of a, a really robust primary health care team working with lots of individuals that I learn from, lots of teams that I learn from, and most importantly from patients with lived experiences. Nurses need to be released to be able to access uh, support and development uh, from wider networks and I think isolating your nurses I don't think will be appropriate for the future. So it's, it's a huge thrill at the end of the week to know that you can make such a difference to people. Sometimes I think 
God, that was a difficult week. But the thing is, is we achieve such a lot in difficult weeks. You know, we should be proud of ourselves. And it's important, again, to raise the profile of practice nursing just to see how hard we do work. My message would be to practice managers and general practitioners to be open-minded about what the future holds for general practice nursing.